Hello! This is my update for week 2 of Camp NaNoWriMo, July 2018. I promised last week that I was going to make this a little bit more interactive and I hope I am delivering with this video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Elizabeth, better known as Lizzie, and I am a writer. I don't have anything published yet, but I hope to change that soon enough. This week, I actually had some days that I did not accomplish my goal. My goal is two 20-minute sprints a day for the whole month. During the weekend, I have family over from Argentina, and I focused on them instead of my writing, so I did not write anything at all during the weekend. And I started again on Tuesday because they left Monday afternoon. I started with plotting again the reasons why I was working with uh, Plot Gardening by Chris Fox, and I was uh, using the technique that talks about who's your main character, who's your villain, uh, how the book starts, how the book ends, and then start using your five-year-old and asking why. Why this is happening, why this has to be like this, why the character do this, why the character has this past, why they react this way, and blah, blah, blah. I started doing that and answering some questions. I remember that on Saturday, I went to the mall and I sat down in the cafeteria and wrote a couple of words. Uh, well, actually, it was a dialogue of a scene and that scene, I loved it. I said, I have to transfer that to my computer. And I did. It was a scene where my main character was doubting herself and one of the other main characters, the one that um, was supposed to be a guy and ended up being a woman, um, said to my main character that she was wrong, that she didn't see herself the way that everyone else saw her. She was a natural when it came to fix situation between them because this woman was fighting with another character and the main character, the queen, the princess actually, um, got in between and with a few words diffused the situation and she didn't even know what she did or how she did it, she just went and did it. So that's what this conversation was about and uh, I loved it. I put it down on my document on Scrivener and I think that scene has potential, but that's what I was working with in that clip that you just saw. This clip was about a scene that I wrote under pressure. I was doing a 20 minute sprint on a Thursday and uh, I decided that I wanted to just let go. And I started writing in first person in my main character point of view. And then I switched to 
what I will consider my main, main male character. Because I'm writing a menage, so I have a lot of characters. I have my princess, and I have, so far, three knights. One of them is a female and two males. Then I have the evil queen and her minions and all that. But I was working with my princess and my main knight point of view. And he, my main knight, started acting out of character. I said, okay, this is not him. This is not him. I don't know who this is, but it's not him. It's in his body and in is watching through his eyes, but it's not him. I need to edit this. I left the scene just like it was, but um, I noticed that he wasn't being himself. And I don't know if that was because I was pushing for the writing or what. I took a step back and on Friday I plotted again. I actually outlined it some steps that I need to write, some scenes that I need to write that I know where things are going because I have an idea of the beginning, I have an idea of the ending, but I don't know the path that my characters are going to take to get to point B from point A. That's what I tried to outline Friday. That's my 40 minutes for Friday. What I did want to do was change projects. I just want to drop this and start something else or pick up. Actually, I was I do I do not want to start something new. I want to pick back up my project from April. That's because that project is actually outlined and I know where things are going. I know what's going to happen and I have some scenes already written then that makes things easy. I just want to go and take the easy route. But I promised myself that I was going to be consistent and I'm going to keep on working on this queen project that is the one that I picked for Camp Naharaimo. So how are you doing with your writing? Are you participating? If you are, please let me know in the comments down below. Writing a book, a nonfiction, a fiction, a whatever book is not easy. And having people that cheer you on along the way, especially when the times get rough, is great. That's why I like so much these challenges, these writing challenges like April's camp and July's camp in the actual main event in November, NaNoWriMo, because you have the community and other writers working on their own projects and it's more outspoken. It's not just, shh, I'm working on a novel. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, everybody is talking about it. Everyone is asking questions and sharing and that's beautiful. That's, that's why I like about the writing community and the NaNoWriMo challenges. So again, please leave a comment down below about how are you doing with your project, what are you working with, and if you have any struggles, share it. Maybe we have some advices from each other. I don't know, just leave a comment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to ring that notification bell you will get notified whenever I upload videos. I'll see you again on Sunday. Bye-bye.